Watch me as I use the words in the text to understand the details or more information that the author is trying to tell us. First, I'm going to read lines one through four so that I can listen to how they sound. It says dot a dot 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 a dot dot spotting the window pane. Spack a spack speck, flick a flack fleck, freckling the window pane. Now that I listen to the words, I need to find the words that repeat or are made up. I see here in the first line, the author repeats the word dot a lot. I also see words like spack and flack and fleck. These words are all made up words. And I know the author didn't just make up these words because they ran out of words to use. They must be trying to tell me something. Now that I found these words that repeat and are made up, I need to think about what it makes me imagine or see. Now when I hear the words dot a dot 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 a dot dot, that makes me think of a bunch of polka dots. And if it's on my window pane, it must be raining outside because I know when there's dots on my window, it's starting to rain. Then I see words like spack a spack speck, flick a flack fleck. That makes me think that the rain isn't little dots anymore but they're getting messier and hard to see through. So the rain must be getting a little heavier. So this author is trying to tell me that the weather has rain outside. It's starting really slow with the dots on the window pane. And then it's getting a little heavier as it says spack a spack speck. Now it's your turn to find key details in the text using the words that the author uses.